So the Hebrew University is, of course, one of the world's most important intellectual centers. Uh, I think it stands for intellectual tenacity, great sense of, of importance culturally to both Israel and the entire region, and in fact, the world. Well, it's a great university, and it has produced great scientists and scholars, but my personal relationship to it is indirect, mainly through the people there. I see it as a crown of Jerusalem because it's really an institute with a lot of vision, a lot of horizons that it's opening scientific, but especially in my field uh, regarding philosophy. And I'm very happy that uh, Jerusalem has such a good university up there. As a value, I value honesty. But my greatest joy I get from my family. And I always say to them, remember, no matter how clever you are, how many papers you publish and what you do, the only thing you really leave behind you are wonderful children and grandchildren. As a scientist, I think one of the most important values that we can give to our students and our mentees is a combination of passion for what we're doing and for the scientific research that we do and compassion for them as trainees. One of my leading values is ethics. To try to find the connection and the cooperation between ethical life and religion, faith, and being observers. I think compassion would be near the top. Empathy and equity for all peoples in the world. Well, my connection with Jerusalem is really through my husband, who has worked with Yad Hanadiv, and particularly as they were setting up the Institute of Advanced Studies at the Hebrew University, and so we had some really wonderful visits in Jerusalem. First of all, I love this town. The air, the vision, everything that you see there in Jerusalem is lovely. But it's important for me because it's also the capital of Israel and the most important institutes are in Jerusalem. But the most important thing for me in Jerusalem is the core, the heart, the Temple Mountain that I'm very connected to through my religion, through my searching for the connection with God, with Hashem. Sarah and I were invited to the Hebrew University in 1998 and we spent a lovely week in Jerusalem. As first time visitors to Israel, we were struck by the dynamism of Jerusalem and by its unfathomable mysteries as we wandered through the old town. My research consisted of several different projects. The one that contributed directly to making it a better world for some people was the drug I developed for treating patients with Alzheimer's disease. I think one of the greatest feelings of satisfaction I had when I began to have letters from people all over the world telling me how much this drug had helped them. I'm actually educating the next generation and trying to make my students and other students better students and better citizens and residents and people in the world. But I dedicate a lot of my time for public work. And to make this world better, humanity and religion and ethics. So our research concerns how plants recognize and respond to infection by fungal pathogens and bacterial pathogens. Worldwide, we lose approximately 30% of each year's harvest to pests and pathogens. So understanding the molecular mechanisms 
of the plant's immune system will save us in the end a lot of land because we won't need to plant on extra land to make up for the losses that we currently live through due to pests and pathogens. Well, we were very interested always, my work and my group, on gender equity. And our emphasis was particularly on changing norms and practices in the workplace and the design of work that will make it easier for women to take care of their families as well as be productive in the economy. And we hope that we have made a few inroads in helping organizations. Don't go into research unless you have a driving curiosity. It's the wanting to know which is more important than uh, how much credit you will get, how much money you will get. You have to enjoy it because it's a very frustrating process. But believe me, if you're successful, uh, it beats quite a lot of other things.